Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. Now, what are Let's Build videos and what are they about? I'll take a model kit and I'll show you guys how to put it together. I do this for various reasons. Some people will suffer with dyslexia or just struggle with instructions. Some people just want uh, new models for certain armies and just not sure how complicated they are to build or anything else. This is a visual way to help you guys out. Some people have these models sitting on their side and they just don't feel confident enough to build them again. This is a visual way to show you easy, easy ways to do things. Now, if there's anything wrong on the sprue, i.e. something's numbered on the sprue, but it's numbered different to the instructions, I'll give you guys a heads up. If there's any areas of concern in like small bits that need to be cut off carefully and cleaned carefully, Again, I'll give you guys a heads up and let you guys know. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so what am I building today? Today I'm going to do the Heavy Intercessor Squad from the Battlefleet um, sorry, the strike, strike Force Augustus box. That's the last unit to do from that box, and that box is done. <clears throat> and we're on Let's Build 90 something now. So we're fast approaching Let's Build 100, which is going to be a big, massive, special, special build. If the fates let me. So I'm going to run you through tools and stuff. Tools need as usual, so everyone that's new. Mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade. If you're using a bladed tool, be careful because it's sharp and if there's one in the house, let them know that you're there using it. So nobody scares you and hurts yourself by accident. Clippers, most useful part of our kit. I have sanding sponge and sanding block, which is the same old stuff. This uh, sponge with sandpaper either side. Now this is fine grit. This is sanding block. Okay, I do have a better one here. Yeah, that's how it comes. That's how you can get it. That's, that's sponge. There's the sandpaper around. So you can see where I've cut, hacked a piece off. So I'm going to use another cut another piece off anyway for this. But you can get that in the hardware shop. Somewhere between sandpaper and wallpaper. It might be with the sandpaper. It could be the wallpaper, it could be in between, but something like that. Now, I do have super glue at hand, just in case. As I said, this is a plastic kit, so plastic glue. Um, then for everyone that's new, what we do now is we have a look at the sprue and we can try and ascertain what's what and what's not. So it makes our life a little bit easier. So I think we, we can identify space between backpacks, gun arms. Well, that looks like a heavy bolter arm, actually. It looks like a heavy bolter weapon, which is nice. Heavy, uh, heavy bolt rifles, I think that's what they're called. That's a cool one. That must be a sergeant's one. Um, we've got body parts, we've got leg parts, we've got, it looks like magazine parts, we've got arms, we got marine heads, and they're all, they're all number 22, so that's nice and easy in sound. I think the only one's different is 56, which would be the sergeant's head. We've got pauldrons, which is always always good. There's tons of extras like the little bolt gun pouches and the bolt pistol pouches, all specs. Fantastic purity seals. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna um finish getting set up and I'm gonna come back to you and see if I can find the rules for these guys with their stat lines and their weapons and everything else. Right, well let's say. They got a lot of weapon options here, but crazy. But anyway, they're moving up five. That's the because I think they're in Gravis Armor, I think. Um Weapon skill three plus, so there's three plus taking close combat, four plus from shooting, uh, sorry, three plus from shooting, standard space marine stuff, strength four, toughness five. So they are quite a bit tough because normal space marine is toughness four. Three wounds apiece, which is nice. Two attacks and three attacks from the sergeant. Leadership seven, leadership eight from the sergeant, three up armor save. Um, they come equipped with bolt pistol, heavy bolt rifle, frag and frag grenades. 
which we all know, you know, basic pop pistol stat line. Uh, we have heavy bolt rifle, which is 36 inches, rapid fire one, strength five, minus one AP and one damage apiece. Which is not too bad. I mean, it's rapid fire one, so you know, you get double shots on there. You only said you have two shots on Marines, so it's not too bad. They can have a heavy bolter as well, which is nice. But it's all the other weapons, like the execution of bolt rifle, which is heavy, 42 inch range, heavy one, strength five, AP minus two, and damage two. You also got the executioner heavy bolter, which is 42 inch range, heavy two, strength five, minus two AP, and three damage apiece. Um, heavy bolt rifle, we've done that one there. Heavy bolter, yeah. Hellstorm bolt rifle, 13 inch range, assault three, strength five, zero AP, and one damage apiece. But assault three, that's doing three shots per, per one. So you could advance them and still get three shots off and minus one to hit. It's actually crazy because it's a 13 inch range. They consider it's a 13 inch range. You can, you got some five inch there, so that's 35 inches that you could get a shot off on. That's pretty good. Hellstorm Heavy Bolter, again, 13 inch range, heavy four, strength five, zero P and two damage apiece. But heavy four has four shots. Frag, uh, frag grenades, we know that, blah, blah, blah. Crack grenades, same. Okay. So if, if no model in this unit is equipped with heavy bolter, you can take one of the following options. All models in the unit can be have the heavy bolt rifles replaced with hell storm bolt rifles each. Okay. All of the models in this unit can have their heavy bolt rifles replaced with one executioner bolt rifle each. That's nice. For every five models in this unit, one heavy intercessor's heavy bolter heavy bolt rifle can be replaced with one heavy bolter, one heavy intercessor's hellstorm bolt rifle can be replaced with one hellstorm heavy bolter or one heavy intercessor's executioner bolt rifle can be replaced with one. Okay. So basically, that's the soul confused me a little bit as I read it properly. So if you take five normal guys, you can give one of them a um you can replace the one of those heavy heavy bolt rifle with a heavy bolter. Yeah, that's great. But if you don't take the heavy bolter option and you give them all hellstorm bolt rifles each, then you can replace as long as you have five models in the squad, you can replace one of them with a um, hellstorm heavy bolter. Um, say you don't take that, you take the uh, execution rifle bolt rifles each. You can then replace one of their heavy so one of the executioner bolt rifles each with a executioner's heavy bolter. It's a little bit confusing, but you should get just what I mean. Um, yeah, they grab a summer. I'll see that now. That's just that's the gist of their stat line, which is pretty tasty. So I'm going to find look at the first pieces because you know you look at it like this, you go, oh my goodness me, there's so many parts. Where do I start? Where do I start? This is going to be so straightforward. One thing I've I've learned with this building space marines. They have made them so straightforward, which is actually fantastic. Tanks, no, but the normal troops and stuff, yes. So I'm going to find the first pieces and I'll come back to you again, guys. Right, so the first two pieces we need is this piece down here, number 49, yeah, and number 50. From what I can see, I'm hoping, yeah, I'm right. So there's the body for the first model, Sergeant. There's his back and there's his legs. Okay, so I imagine that's the same for the next one. I'd imagine this one's the same. I imagine this one. This, this, yeah, this one's the same. I'd imagine. So that, that's if that's the case, that's that's fantastic. But anyway, I'm going to cut the, the body, see what front and back off, give it a clean down, and come back to you again, guys. And so this goes to have very very straightforward. So I'm going to work some glue on here, just to. So how he, that's how confident I am this goes together. So you take the back, you've got the curves of the arm. Again, don't worry about the don't worry about any little bits on there because that's gonna be that's where the arm goes on. It just slots in there like so. Okay. And then what I do is I'm gonna just run a little bead of glue down the join line just to get rid of it. That's that. So the next piece that's needed is the two legs. Okay. 
that's number 51 and 52. I'm going to slip those off, clean those down and show you how they go together. Right, so 52, literally, there's a, a little circle bit there, a little circle bit there, that clips in there, this leg goes on there. It's that straightforward. So we'll do the other guy, make some glue on there. So straightforward. Now, I just noticed there's a whole cast of mice here. Don't panic if you come across things like that after you start gluing stuff, because when this is all dry, you come back over your sanding sponge, just give it a gentle, gentle brush down. <coughs> so before I glue this to the base, that's what I'll do. So this is this might even be one of those builds where I don't need to show you the whole the whole unit. I don't know. What we'll do is we'll do the sergeant as normal, do the next guy and see how we are, because there's only five guys in the squad, so it's not too troublesome. Especially as easy as that. But anyway, I'll come back to you in a second, guys. Right, so the next piece we need for this guy, you've got two options. You either have 57, which is what gun knives I'm, I'm ironing earlier on, or you have 61. So this one is in the, the right-hand side of, of these of the marine this one goes to his left hand side i'm going to go for this one so i'm going to slip it down clean it down I'll show you how it goes on well it's pretty self-explanatory goes on to the shoulder just there okay so i'm going to slip it off clean it down glue it on we'll go back for the next piece now because we took that option we now need 64 which is this piece here okay and uh, these by are uh, numbers 20, these are 19. So we need 64 and we need a 19. But if you took the other option, then you need 58. Where are you going? It just looks at you. And you don't need this one. Yeah. So I'm going to slip that off, slip that off, clean them down. self exposure where this one goes. Okay. On this side of his body. Okay, and then the shoulder pad goes over the top, so I'm going to slip them to both down, clean them down, glue them onto him. Right, so then you've got a choice of three different heads. So we've got this one here, which is 59, which is a nice head. Yeah, then we've got a choice of these two down here. So it's 62 and 63. Um... I'm going to go with this one. So I want to start, I want to do some faces and try and do some face work and stuff when I paint this. I'm going to slip it off, clean it down. I shouldn't need to show you where this one goes. It goes straight in the top there. Now there is a little, there is a little square hole. Yeah. So when you take the head off, there is a square. No, there is no square peg. Okay, so the head just sits in there normal. Um, then need a backpack now all the backpacks are numbered 21 so it doesn't much one which one you take the backpack goes on his back there okay where this crazy ass little shape is so i'm going to slip those two bits off glue them in i'm going to glue to his base and then come back to you for the next guy and so the next guy we need number one and number two i'm going to slip those down clean those down they go together the exact same way as the first guy my next one's what I need, number three and number four. Yeah, so we're just taking these two, and there's the next two if needed. So it's very, very straightforward. So I'd imagine that these guys will go together. Yeah, two legs and two bodies. Same with these guys, and the same with these ones. But anyway, I'm gonna send these off, clean these down. They go on exactly the same as the other one did, so I'm gonna put them on. That's the next piece we need. B12, which is a heavy bolter. Number 13, which is this arm. Yeah. And number 15, which is this arm down here. Okay. So we're going to slip those three pieces off. Now be careful with this because it's all wires here. Um, slip them off, clean them down. I'll come back to you for the next piece then. And so the next piece we need is 16, which is this piece, or 17, which is this piece here or 18. 
Now, there's three different pieces, three different magazines and everything else. I would say that each one is meant to represent a different variation of the heavy bolt they can have. I don't think it matters in game terms because you can just give them this heavy bolt or that heavy bolt, it doesn't matter. But I like the look of the big drum. So I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to slip it down, clean it down, and show you how it goes on. Oh, this is very straightforward. This bit goes in there. See there's three little ridges for to slot into. Gun barrel lines up nicely. Yeah. A horrible casting like that, that I've missed. I'll get that in a sec. And that's how you glue it together. So I'm gonna sort that out and come back to you for the next piece then. Right, this is very straightforward. There's a little hand there. There's a little weird groove part. That just clips for the sense clip you glue into there. Okay. And then this one, there's a hand here, that just glues into there like that. So I'm going to glue those two into place, and then we'll come back. And I'll actually glue into the guy, glue into the body as well. Yes, yeah, so and then we'll come back for the next piece. Okay, so the next two pieces we need, so that's got drying, that's a pain in the backside to do, but it's in there now it's drying, is number 14, which are these wires. And be very careful when clipping them off. Sanding sponge comes in perfectly handy. And a space marine backpack. So I'm going to slip both those off, clean those down. And the backpack I'm going to glue on because you know how that goes. But I'll show you how to put the wires on. Right, these wires are a little bit fiddly. Basically, there's a flat side this side. And there's a little flat side that side. So that bit slots in there. Yeah. And when it connects to the backpack, there is a little, if I can get it on there, there's a little point there. That he actually joins on to. So I'm going to glue that into place and then I'll show you so you get a better idea what I mean. Right, so here we are, it joins on there, it joins into the backpack there. Okay, nice and easy. There is not connected. Hmm. I'll fiddle around here and I'll come back again to show you. Right, so there we have it. A little bit of to get into place, but it's there. Now the next piece we need is number 11 or 22, which is the head. Um, so 22 is in one of normal heads, which I really like. Or number 11, which is... Yeah, even though it looks like a normal space ring one. I'm going to clip off one of these anyway, skip one of those, and then it's one backpack 19, one backpack 20. It's given me an order with like one on each side, but they're the same thing, so it doesn't matter what side you put it on. So I'm going to slip the head off, glue that in, slip the jod pads off, obviously clean everything down, and glue them on, and glue them to the base, and I'll go back for the third guy. Right, so I'm going to save myself some time here. I was correct in my thinking. This is the body for one one guy. This is the body and legs for another guy. And this is the body and legs for the, for the third guy. So I'm going to snip each of those off, clean those down, glue them together, and just have them ready to be arms and stuff onto them. And I'm going to come back to you at that point, guys. Right, so what I've gone ahead and done is backpack, head, body, legs to the base on all three of them. This is the first one, second one, third one. So, all I need for the first one now is his gun and his, and his arms. So, we need arm number 30, which is this one here. Number 31, which is this one here. Gun 29, which is this bad boy here. Now, these guns, they come with three different ammo parts that go into them. I presume it's for each different version of the gun. But look, it doesn't matter what one you put in, because it's one of those minor things that just doesn't really matter whether, what, what variation of the heavy rifle they have. I like these round magazines, so I'm going to go with one of those. So I need one of these, 
number 29, number 31, and number 30. We're going to stick them down, clean them all down, so you how they all go together. All right, so first of all, this goes into the gun, okay? Goes in that way in. It just clips into there, like so. Yeah? So when you look on the outside, that's what it looks like, nice and very tasty. Now the hands, this arm, is obviously the, the side of his body. Don't panic too much because the um, shoulder pads still have to go on there. But you can see there's a hand there. That literally just glues. That should do. Yeah. So this two funny little shapes just goes in there like so. And then the other arm, there's his hand there. That just, again, there is a funny little piece that sticks out and there's a little hole in there that just goes in there. Okay, so I'm going to glue those, all those pieces together and glue them onto the model and come back to you for the next piece. Right, so the first one's done. I'd say that wasn't easy putting that, the guns together. Pain in the hole. But I put his shoulder pads on, he's ready to rock and roll. So we need for the second guy, we need arms. 38, which is this one here, yeah, 39, which is all the way up here, and we need gun number 37, which is this one here. Now, any magazine clip you want, again, I'm going to go with one of these ones. I'm going to snip all down, clean them down, and the, the gun's going to go together the same way, okay, because it's the, the same sort of design. Focus. A hand here, put the clips in, the hand there, put a clip in the other side. Same way again. Yeah, so I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, glue them on together, and then come back to show you the parts for the last model. Right, now the last guy is 46, which is this piece here. Yeah. 47, which is this one here. And he has weapon number 45 which is this lovely one here on the end. Again, any magazine that you want. And that's what makes him to put together. Now for me, I'm not gonna do that. I've got uh, something else sneaky I wanna do because I wanna try and keep as many of these uh, pauldrons as I can because I've got loads of first old lead space marines and I know I'm missing pauldrons, I'm missing gun arms and pauldrons and all sorts of stuff. But if I can limit the amount of pauldrons I need to you know, have I don't need, I can do that, so I'm going to keep those. So, what I'm going to do, I'm looking at these other arms, like this one here, with a gun on it, or this one here holding a gun. That one doesn't come with a pauldron, though, unfortunately, but this one does. But I'm looking at these two because this one's just a fist, yeah. So, I'm going to sneak right, that's the two that I'm going to go for for the last guy. Now, someone will say, Oh, but they're sergeant weapons and this is a, to me, the sergeant has no helmet, so that's how that's going to work. So I'm going to snip those off, glue them onto the last guy, just to save me some pauldrons, and I'll come back to you then for some final thoughts and pictures. Right, so they're all done. I'd give these guys a difficult rating, maybe, say a four. And i I'd explain why. The backpack on the body, simple. The two body parts together, simple. The legs onto them, very, very simple, considering there's little wires that come out of everything else. The problem, the head's going around perfect. The problem lies in connecting the weapon arms. Let's say this side, so, you know, putting the weapon bits into the, the two hind bits and joining the two arms and the gun together, and that's, that's where the problem lies. Now, it is a little fit, bit fiddly, <clears throat> but that's why we use plastic glue for this type of thing. You know, if you use super glue, you'd have like a minute or so, and it'd be this here. With the plastic glue, after a minute or so, it's starting to get very gooey and stringy. Then all you have to do then is just manoeuvre it the way that you want to. And if it starts to, if it's not quite shoulder pad, the shoulder's not, the arm's quite not, quite, sorry, the arm isn't quite right where it should be on the shoulder, in regards to the shoulder and of the model, then because it's plastic glue, you can still move it and just get it right. Um, here's the final guy. 
think it looks quite cool. Just yeah. Now again, guys, I said this all over all the time. I've just noticed a bit under here that I've missed on Bobby's hand, but it doesn't matter because when the glue's fully dry, I can come through with a piece of sanding sponge and just gently give it a clean away. Just a bit that I've missed. Just there. So I can come in and just give it a gentle clean away. Quick, gentle once over and make sure there's no other parts that I've missed. Because sometimes when you heat up glue and stuff, you don't actually realise there's bits that you missed until you finished it and you go, oh, well, hold on, I missed that. Um, I see a piece on his forearm here, but it doesn't matter anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we're getting closer and closer to Let's Build 100, which is going to be a massive, massive build. Guys, and thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing. and helps the channel out in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything that I produce. And for everyone that supports the channel for as long as you, you guys have, I feel love so much. Thank you, guys. It just means the world to me. Um, let's keep this community going. Let's keep it going. Everyone smash the thumbs up button for me as well because that just helps share this wonderful, you know, this channel and this video and this channel to more and more of our lovely community. This is now the officially the last models from Belfry, uh, sorry, Strike Force Augustus box. Done. Fantastic. Um, so hopefully I can get them all painted up soon and they'll be on, they will be on the table very soon, ready for 10th. If you want these guys in the vote, I mean, to me, they're just Marines with big weapons. If you want them in the vote, chuck, tell me, and I'll just chuck on below, and I'll, I'll end up putting them in the vote for this Wednesday. Guys, until next week, or until next week, until next time, take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching.